What's it like camping uh, over the festive season in Kruger National Park? Welcome to Get Out Go, I'm Christoph. Join me as I go camping over Christmas in Tensei Rustic Camp. Tensei Rustic Camp is located in the north of Kruger National Park in Limpopo province of South Africa. It's around seven and a half hours drive and 99% of the roads up to the camp are tall. We have campsite number 15, a favourite of ours. For more information about Senzi, have a look at my campsite review. Even though it's rainy, we're keen to go on our first game drive. We head out to Mueplas Waterhole and we're soon rewarded with a great sighting. For those of you who watch the show, you'll know I'm not great with cooking. Uh, if you haven't seen it, have a look at the last cooking attempt up above. Today we're going to make something that we really like making at camp, so I thought it best my wife show you how to do it. Okay, so what are we doing today? We are going to make a beer bread. Um, ingredients for that is self-raising flour, 500 grams, a beer, any oh. will do, and uh, some oil. Pour the flour into a mixing bowl. Add a tablespoon of oil. Now slowly pour in the beer while mixing. Keep stirring the mix with a spoon and or your hands until combined. Don't over mix. Add in additional flour as needed. While the dough is rising, you can prepare your fire. Mm -hmm. 
Oil the pot and transfer the dough into it. The pot should get 90% of its heat from the top first. Check the bread after around 20 minutes. If brown, change the heat to the bottom of the pot. Be careful not to burn the bread now. Test if the bread is done by sticking a knife into it. If the knife comes out clean, the bread is done. Cut thick slices and butter generously. With this particular meal, we are serving the bread with fillet steak, with cranberry jelly and camembert cheese. The next morning's weather is back to awful. Heading out to Sanguetsi this morning uh, to meet somebody I met on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram yet, uh, link in the description below. Sanguetsi is around an hour and a half's drive from Tsenze. We get a bit of a break in the weather, just enough to explore the area a bit. Sanguetsi is a traditional Kruger camp. It can get quite busy over public holidays. The wildlife is taking advantage of the break in the rain as well, and we have some nice sightings again. You can expect to see a lot of buffalo between Punda Maria all the way down to Letaba. The bird life in the area is also spectacular. We also stumble on a buffalo carcass, probably a day or two old. Interesting, albeit a little gruesome. It's not just the animals taking advantage of the break in the rain. We heard lions uh, all night last night, so we got up at about 3.30 to go and look for them to no avail. Three hours later, we haven't found them. We found uh, a lot of elephants again. It's not a bad game drive, but we are uh, looking forward to finding those cats. The weather hasn't been great. Uh, we had lots of rain again uh, yesterday, and uh, pretty much the whole week's been cloudy and rainy. 
So that's not great for solar, right? We down to uh, we were down to about 40 percent on the batteries last night, um, and we back up at the moment now. Thankfully, with some sun, back to 57. Since it doesn't have any power, so you're completely dependent on solar power. Now, if this continues, um, we <laughs> might have to abandon ship and uh, go camp at some Gwetsi where there's power. Let's hope it doesn't get to that. The next morning is clear skies again, thankfully, so we head down to Lataba. Lataba is around an hour south of Tsenze. There are some great views of the Lataba River on the way. Lataba is another traditional camp. The restaurant has a lovely view of the river and the coffee is not half bad. Had a nice morning at uh, Lataba, had a quick cup of coffee, now we're driving around all the dirt roads for a change of scenery, back to Tenze. There are lots of great dirt roads in the area, so be sure to explore some of these. Tsenze has great bird life right inside the camp as well. Be on the lookout for the camp's various resident owls. Tsenze is perfect for the camper looking for a quiet stay in nature. Second to last day, so I'm not looking forward to going home. We haven't found any cats yet. Uh, there's been reports of uh, wild dogs in the area as well. So we're going to head out and uh, try and find these. There's a wide variety of wildlife to enjoy in Kruger. And who knows, you might actually find that specific animal you're looking for as well. Just had our first lion sighting on the very last day. Um, not the greatest shots, but it was great to see them. If that wasn't enough, we found those wild dogs as well. In Kruger, you can expect to see many cars at a sighting, probably worst in the south. This is very different to a sighting to somewhere like the central Kalahari for instance. Click the link above. Just like that, it's the end of this sighting and of this trip. Although we haven't had the best weather, um, we had lots of rain and cloudy days and one sunny day there was a scorcher, um, it's been a good stay. Um, the north isn't as busy as the rest of Kruger. Uh, Tsenze is a great stay as always. So lots of elephant, so overall great stay. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Until next time, get out there.